This series of short videos brought to you by the Energy Saving Trust will explain the basics about electric vehicles, their benefits and how to drive them more efficiently. My name is Robert Llewellyn and I've been driving electric cars for the last five years. I've driven over 150,000 miles in them so I know they work very well. But it's very understandable that some people think they're just not right for them. I mean, five years ago there were very few electric cars on the road. Today it's a very different picture. In the last five years, tremendous changes have taken place in the world of electric cars. For example, out of this collection of cars, which ones do you think are electric? Well, it may surprise you to learn that they all are, and over the coming year, they'll be joined by an even wider selection of electric vehicles. Now, you may be thinking, well, these all look very nice, but, you know, they simply don't have the range. Now, this is completely understandable, but according to government and industry figures, 90% of journeys in this country in cars are under 30 miles. So that really means that these cars are only any use to 90% of the population for 90% of the time. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? And what about the 10% of journeys that are over 30 miles? Well, at the time of making this video, the latest models can cover around 150 miles on a single charge. And if you occasionally take longer journeys, you can recharge en route while you stop off for a cup of tea at a motorway service station. If you regularly drive longer distances, maybe you could try a hybrid or extended range electric car. Now, there are still government grants available to reduce the initial purchase cost of an electric or plug-in hybrid vehicle. And there are government grants available to help pay for a home charging socket like this one. Driving an electric car means you leave no harmful tailpipe emissions in your wake. This is becoming increasingly important, especially if you drive in a city, drive near schools, or travel through heavy traffic. CO2 emissions are greatly reduced due to the efficiency of an electric drive system and the fact that the electricity from the national grid is constantly getting cleaner. But there is a key factor that more and more drivers are becoming aware of. Running an electric car is cheaper, with savings of up to £100 on fuel for every thousand miles you drive. And since electric cars are becoming more common, there is now a healthy second-hand market, with a wide range of cheaper models available. So now is a really good time to consider trying an electric car. Many dealerships offer test drives, and often people discover that their attitudes change once they've had a go. If you do decide to buy or lease an electric car, you'll be joining a rapidly increasing number of people who are already benefiting both economically and environmentally from this rapidly developing technology.